Okay, the cure period notice. So it, when you look up your forms in Transaction Desk or whatever program you're using, it might have one for buyers and one for sellers. So we're just going to do one for the buyer. So I'm going to add, go next, and then find it, cure period notice. So this is a pretty simple form. You're cut and dry, you tell what's going on, and the buyer uh, has three days to fix. So on the fourth day, um, you could cancel, keep their earnest money, whatever. Unless they get loan denial or, or fix it or whatever, they're going to be uh, cured about. So again, here's that part where you're not a legal advisor when it comes to taxes and attorney attorney's information. The contract date is the last date everybody came to agreement. Uh, the last date on the last counter, um, and that's the date that would go here. The buyers are, are Joe Smith, and I'm going to say, okay, and the seller is Sally Jones. And if you're going to send this to your buyer, uh, you would want to have that their uh, information in here so you can email it to them. This also is going to go to the title company. So uh, title company um, AZ. Okay. And okay, why didn't that happen? Title company AZ company name save. Okay, why isn't it coming up? <clears throat> All right, I would have to figure that out, but that's anyways where the title escrow company would come. And maybe I have to put in a name. So escrow, escrow officer, their email, 123 at gmail.com, their phone number, 123, what happened? Okay, I'll just put my phone under here, and the company name is um, Title Company AZ, and then Save. Okay, so there it is. And then the premises address again, one, two, three, uh, any street. You just pick whatever it is and put that in there. All right, so this is from the buyer. From this is from the seller, not the buyer. This is from the seller. Okay, so I guess I picked selected the wrong one. Um, let's go save and exit, add a form, here, sellers, for sellers, okay, so I guess it's who you want to, um, here is who you're going to get, so I'm going to add this and just see what happens, so this one is for the seller, and cure period notice for sellers, and so the contract dated was the 6th, okay, Sally Jones, 1, 2, 3. And pursuant to the remedies of section, the seller hereby delivers notice to the buyer. Okay, that's what it is. So it's not from the buyer, it's from the seller. Uh, on the following, so you could write in here, loan docs not delivered to title escrow three days prior to close. You could write in here, um, buyer did not put in or did not deposit earnest money in title. You could put in here, um, prequal has not been received from buyer. All sorts of things. Whatever's in the contract that they did not do on time, um, you would have to go ahead and cure them. If you don't cure them, there's no breach. You have to cure them. Um, and then you have to sit there for three days and wait. And then on the fourth day, um, then you can go ahead and move forward. If noncompliance is not cured within the three days after delivery, within the three days after delivery, so if I deliver it today, they have tomorrow, the next day, and the next day to fix it. On the, on the fourth day, if they don't, the failure to comply shall become a breach of contract. In the event of a breach of contract, review the remedies section uh, of the contract and consult independent legal counsel. Um, so we just had one where the, 
the buyers decided that they just wanted to cancel. And they said that they had contacted someone in California. And those people said that the property that they wanted to buy is not um, at that value that they offered at. But they offered over and above because that's what everybody's doing right now because um, it's a seller's market. And so they canceled. But when they canceled, um, they gave a different reason. And so they, oh, well, we won't go there. But anyway, so we uh, ended up just letting them go and canceling. I wanted something in writing from them. I didn't want to wait the four days for them to cure. Um, they had sent over an email saying they did not want to move forward with this. So I told them to send over a Binzer, um, waiving their inspection and saying that uh, the reason why they want to reject this property is. And so um, they're still in non-compliance because in the inspection part of the contract, it says uh, 10 days or they put zero. So they didn't even have an inspection period. Um, so we'll see what happens with that if it ever goes to court or mediation or arbitration. Anyways, what you do then is the seller signs this and sends it over to the buyer's agent, thereby delivers notice to buyer. Uh, make sure that the seller, that the buyer's agent receives it. And then um, you go ahead and send that to title. Um, so the title has a copy of this and wait and see what happens. And hopefully they close and you don't have to move forward doing anything else and finding another buyer. So that is the cure period notice. Okay.